After the fact that they start hearing the opportunities and what the Lord has done, my God, then guess what happens? They start coming to a realization that, hey, it's blessed to be a blessing. <laughs> Come on out of here. It is blessed to be a blessing. And I, I, I thank God today that he's doing exceedingly abundantly above all that I can ever ask or think. He's doing exceedingly abundantly above all I can ever ask or think. God is supplying all my needs, not just some of my needs. Oh my God, whatever I need, he's going to start to give it to me. When they think, how you going to get it? That's when it's going to be getting the move. Because somebody coming with it. Glory to God. Somebody's coming with a miracle. Somebody's coming with, because somebody want their breakthrough. Somebody know that the little that they have ain't going to get them as far as they think they're going to go. <laughs> Glory to God. Somebody wants greater opportunity. Some, somebody want greater promotion. Maybe it is that you want a, a better occupation and, and things of that na- nature. And maybe it is that you do want a promotion. With what you're kind of doing right now. Well, if you begin to sow your way out of that, you'll begin to see a bountiful harvest. But if you sow sparingly, you will reap sparingly. If you, that's all you expecting is some little stuff, then God going to do it that way. You're going to reap sparingly. The way that you sow, that's the way you're going to reap. But don't you want God best? Wouldn't you want God's best? Wouldn't you want the very best that God has to offer? See, some folk, they've been doing things the other way. I've seen God bless me with clothes, shoes, all kind of stuff. Come on out of here. I've seen God do stuff like that. That eyes haven't really seen like that. Ears ain't really heard. Glory to God. But I've seen God do what he said he was going to do. Oh, you ain't hearing me. God did it. Hallelujah. I said God been doing it. He sent the lady a while back. She was, she came to me uh, some time ago. I was on Carrot Bars International. Uh, well, actually, the lady was on the website and things of that nature. And she hit me up on the Facebook Messenger. And she began to tell me some things that she had an opportunity for me to be a part of Carrot Bars International. Now, the truth of the fact of the matter was. I I didn't have everything that I thought at that time. But she came and wanted to bless me with that opportunity. I had people that came and blessed me with the V-Stream TV and still trying to bless me. Got me, sending me emails. I got emails of opportunities and stuff like that. I just got another one from the same lady. She came with another blessing. Wanted to bless me again. This is, this is truth. This is the truth. She wanted to bless me again. And I'm thinking like, Lord have mercy. Because the kingdom is within. And it's not even a joke you. Here is the truth of the fact of the matter. Just yesterday. And let me tell you. I ain't... You know, I'm, I'm thinking, what if the Lord bless me with this, that, and other? You don't know where your blessings are going to come from. Come on out of here. And how you going to get it? When you going to get something? Sometimes you ain't even looking for stuff that come. Let me tell you something. I just got another computer 
Come on out of here. You ain't hearing me. I had another computer monitor that the, I just got blessed with yesterday. On the yesterday. Now, it's so amazing that it works and everything too. It actually works. But I got to get the other parts together. But God put everything together for the good. It it, is going to come to pass because God, he blessed me with it. He not only blessed me with that. He blessed me with an additional. The other person blessed me with the other cover. Come on out of here. And I'm thinking about what I'm going to do. For this, that, and the other. And I started to take, almost about to take a thought. And about to try to stress myself out thinking, oh, where am I going to get this? I don't got this. But God say, oh, where you see a lack at, I'm going to supply. Because you done made me the Lord over your life. I'm going to supply every need. Because you asked me to. You believed on me. That you, I'm going to supply everything that you need to do. Come on. Out of here. God will supply all your needs. And you got to believe that he will. Not just two-thirds of it. And say, God, we're not don't just supply two-thirds or one-third or one-half of my needs, God. Because I'm giving you everything that I got. The, the rest that I have, God, I'm going to give you the rest of it. You got to, you got to say that I'm going to give you all that I have right now. All that I have in me, I, I got to put this out for a harvest. You got to believe that you, you he's going to do exceedingly for you, abundantly for you, more than you can ever ask or think. You got to believe it, though. You have not because you ask not. Sometimes, though, you ain't got to ask for stuff. Folks will just ask you, do you want this? Do you want that? Some things I didn't even say, hey, did you have this? Or do you have that? It just comes that way. I tell you no joke. Everything that I really need, I started thinking like, if that's here, then I'm going to need this, that, and other. Everything that I'm going to need is going to be supplied. But I can't take my focus off. This is where King Solomon did. King Solomon started putting his thoughts on the carnality of stuff. He had to know that God, he, he, people want to be blessed. See, the blessing of the Lord makes rich, and he add no sorrow with it. Don't you know the effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much? If I say, I bless you, don't you know that's going to mean a whole lot? Don't you know just them words alone going to go a long way? Because Proverbs 18.21 say, Death and life are in the power of the tongue. I said, death and life are in the power of the tongue, and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. So if you start speaking life concerning your situation, then you'll begin to reap a harvest like never before. I'm saying, God... He started to meet everything, everything that eyes haven't seen, ears haven't heard. He's starting to do it. Even some things I ain't even feel it fully seeing. God's still doing it. Come on out of here. Everything that you need, he's starting to supply it. That's amazing. You ain't got to take no thought what you're going to wear and what you're going to eat. And all that stuff like that. You ain't got to take no thought. What I'm going to wear. What I'm going to eat. If God is God going to supply 
all my needs? Do I got to do this or do I got to do that? Sometimes the thing that you thought you needed to do, you didn't have to do. Because God wanted people to see how they can bless you. See, when God puts you in a head position, you don't have to be a tail to nobody. I said, when God puts you in a head position, you don't have to be a tail to nobody. When he make you above only and not beneath, when he make you the lender and not the borrower. Come on out of here. He going to put you in a position where they going to need you at now. All you got to do is keep praising. All you got to do is keep worshiping, keep meditating, keep doing the works of the Lord. And as you keep seeking first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things shall be added. And as you keep putting your hand to the plow and building and casting out devils and bringing sight to the blind and resurrecting the dead. And as you cleanse the leopards and as you create opportunities for other folks, guess what God is going to do for you? He's going to be working on that mansion in the father's house for you. To be royal. Come on out of here. So you can be royal. Oh, give him glory. I said, give God glory. He working on a place just for you. If you really knew the thoughts of God. Sometime. Is that God wanted you to prosper. And you. Rather take the opposite side. So, which side do you want to be on? The easy or the difficult road in life? And sometimes you got to learn how to put lay aside that that weight and the sin which so easily beset you to stop you from attaining the blessing of God. What stops you from uh, going forward? No issue, nothing to separate you from the things of God. No words, nothing a person can do to you can separate you from God. Especially when you go to God and say, God, I forgive them for they know not what they do. Come on out of here. I forgive them for they know not what they do. And guess what? Harvest is becoming. Come on out of here. You have a harvest on your way. Come on out of here. A harvest that belongs to you. God is trying to get, show you what he meant by that. Come on out of here. God want to show you how they might do this, that, and the other, but they won't. Fully enjoy it. Come on out of here. God is doing a new thing. I'm saying he's doing a new thing. Old things are passing away, not old people. Give God glory right where you are. Give him the glory because the kingdom of God is at hand today. It's at hand on the Sabbath day. Let's give God praises. He's worthy of all praises. He's worthy of all the honor. Oh, glory to God. He's worthy of everything. Hallelujah. I said he's worthy of everything. Hallelujah. He's worthy. He's worthy of it. Come on out of here. He's worthy of it. He's worthy of the praise. He's worthy of the honor. Oh, my God. I said he's worthy of it all. And you'll find out when you obey God, watch the harvest come. There'll be a harvest that come. And you start to find out like, whoa, I got a double promotion just in obeying what God's words say. When you decide that, hey, I want to do this the best way of my ability. I might not have always been what I needed to be, 
but I'm going to press my way.